Scientists are starting to rethink what they thought they knew about the universe, thanks to the latest discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope. In its new images of the farthest regions of space, Webb has revealed things that current theories simply cannot explain. Scientists have found a galaxy so unexpectedly far away that it is now becoming a major challenge for them. That's splodge. There. Yeah, that's splodge here. So it's really probing basically the earliest structures we know in the universe. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered even more strange phenomena this time. Scientists have detected something very unusual in the early universe for the first time. Some of these findings are so unusual that they are challenging our understanding of cosmic expansion, raising questions about whether it is real or just an illusion. They are also forcing scientists to consider the possibility of other universes or extra dimensions beyond our own. So something real is happening, but we can't tell yet if it's a mistake in our observations, a mistake in our interpretation, or just something nature is surprising us with, such as a new kind of dark matter, a new kind of dark energy, or something else that would be really exciting to, to discover. So if there's a Nobel Prize in here, that could be one of them. Nobel Prize winning physicist David Gross even stated at a conference that this isn't just a problem or a concern, it's a crisis. Even more surprising, some of these discoveries suggest that our universe could be part of something much bigger and stranger than we ever imagined. So let's explore what scientists have actually discovered and how these findings suggest that something may exist beyond our universe. The universe is far stranger than we can imagine. In fact, most of it is fading beyond our reach forever. We live inside what scientists call the observable universe. Think of it as a cosmic bubble around us. This bubble isn't the whole universe, it's just the part we can actually see. No matter how powerful our telescopes become, we will never be able to look beyond this boundary. You may ask, why so? Well, it's because the universe is expanding. Space itself is stretching. Almost all galaxies are moving away from us. And not just that, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it seems to be moving away. And as the space farther away from us expands faster, the objects there move away from us at speeds greater than the speed of light due to this accelerated expansion. The most distant regions of space are receding even faster relative to us. It's not that galaxies themselves are breaking the laws of physics. Instead, it's space that's expanding so quickly that light from those regions can never reach us. So we will never know what lies beyond that horizon. To address this problem, scientists assume that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, meaning it appears the same in every direction and at every location, at least on very large scales. This assumption makes it easier to picture the universe stretching infinitely in all directions, looking the same even beyond the limits of what we can observe. But some recent hints from the James Webb Space Telescope have raised questions. The data suggests the universe might not be perfectly uniform after all. If that's true, then what exists beyond our observable universe could be very different from what we see around us. And scientists believe that everything in our universe both what we see and what lies beyond was once squeezed into an unimaginably tiny, dense state, often called the Big Bang Singularity. But don't imagine it as a dot floating in empty space, because space itself didn't exist yet. The term singularity is simply a label for a state we cannot yet fully understand or describe. No one knows where it came from or what, if anything, existed before it. The Big Bang model suggests that about 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began from this initial singularity that expanded extremely rapidly. But unlike an explosion from a central point, this expansion happened everywhere at once. There's no center and no edge to it. After the Big Bang, the universe began creating matter out of pure energy. Over time, gravity pulled this matter together, forming stars, galaxies, and everything we see in the cosmos today. When we look at distant parts of the universe, we're actually looking back in time. 
We don't see those regions of space as they are right now, but rather as they were in the past. This happens because light takes time to travel through space. For example, if we look at something one light year away, we're seeing it as it was one year ago. The farther we look, the further back in time we see. So far, scientists have observed more than 13 billion light years into the early universe using powerful telescopes. And with the help of these observations, scientists have created a standard model of our universe, which shows what the universe looked like at different time periods in the past. Like if you look more than 13 billion light years away, then you will see the dark ages, which means that at this time, the whole universe was covered with dark clouds of hydrogen gas. According to the standard cosmological model, if we could look all the way to the edge of our observable universe about 13.8 billion light years away, we would see the very first moment of our universe, the Big Bang. This image shows the region of study of the James Webb Telescope Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. This area includes and contains the Hubble Extreme Deep Field and reveals new galaxies at record-breaking distances that Hubble could not see. One such galaxy named F200 DB045 is potentially a high redshift galaxy with an estimated redshift of 20.4, meaning it existed just 160 million years after the Big Bang. But this galaxy still has to undergo spectroscopic tests to be confirmed. If verified, it would be one of the oldest and most distant galaxies known and would completely contradict our Big Bang model, which says that our universe is only about 14 billion years old. Now look at this image taken from Hubble. It is showing the arrangement of galaxies according to our galaxy evolution model along with their redshift values. As you can see, the distant early galaxies look small and less organized, while the nearby galaxies look huge and organized like our Milky Way galaxy. But recently, James Webb Telescope has discovered many giant and spiral galaxies like our galaxy in the distant universe, and this discovery has proved this galaxy evolution model wrong. Webb Telescope found that spiral galaxies like our Milky Way were much more common in the early universe than previously thought. Specifically, their research revealed that about 30% of galaxies exhibited a spiral structure as early as 2 billion years after the universe's formation. Previously, scientists believed that spiral galaxies took much longer to develop their distinct shapes. Now, these discoveries are very puzzling because some galaxies are supporting the standard cosmic model and some other galaxies are completely denying it. These galaxies are explaining a universe that is too complex to even imagine. But wait, there's something even more shocking than distant galaxies. As scientists look deeper into the early universe, they found objects that don't seem to be galaxies at all, and right now, there's no clear explanation for them. The deeper the James Webb Space Telescope looks into the early universe, the more it uncovers strange, bright objects with unusual properties that baffle scientists. These small, luminous objects were abundant in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. But what makes them even more intriguing is that they don't seem to be galaxies. Right now, scientists can't say for sure what these objects are, how they formed, or why they seemingly disappeared a few billion years after the Big Bang. Of this remarkable instrument we put in space is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Will the history of astronomy be divided between before Webb and after Webb? Yes, I believe it will be. Some scientists are even arguing that these objects may not be galaxies at all, but something entirely different. In fact, NASA scientists have referred to these mysterious objects as a new class of galaxies. Look at this data. These are the confirmed galaxies discovered before the James Webb Space Telescope. Until that time, GNZ 11 was the most distant galaxy ever discovered. But when Webb Telescope released its early observations, the results shocked scientists. 
it found many more distant galaxies than anyone expected. What surprised scientists even more was that some of these galaxies were at record-breaking distances, far beyond what was previously thought possible, even galaxies beyond redshift 14. After careful spectroscopic tests, which are used to confirm the exact distances of galaxies, the currently most distant confirmed galaxies are MOMZ14, Jade's GSZ14, and Jade's GSZ13, with MOMZ14 holding the record as the farthest confirmed galaxy at a redshift of 14.4. This means we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only about 280 million years old. However, there are other galaxy candidates with redshifts up to 16. If confirmed, these galaxies would challenge our standard cosmological models, which describe how the universe formed and evolved. Spectroscopic confirmation is still needed for these extreme cases. But wait. The most remarkable and shocking discovery from Webb Telescope is that the deeper it looks into the early universe, the more galaxies it finds. Every new set of observations seems to reveal galaxies farther away than ever seen before, breaking previous records again and again. Recent Webb Telescope data has revealed several surprising discoveries, including galaxies at redshifts between 17 and 20, which take us farther back in time than any previously observed galaxies. Also, it found six galaxies at redshift 17, three galaxies at redshifts 24 and 25, and an extraordinary galaxy at an unprecedented redshift of 32. Finding a galaxy at a redshift of 32, which corresponds to roughly 98 million years after the Big Bang, would seriously challenge our standard cosmological models. Astronomer Perez Gonzalez says, These are the deepest observations Webb has ever made, the deepest by a factor of a few. If these light sources really are at those distances, it means the early universe was far more active in its first 200 million years than anyone had imagined. The galaxies of the early universe have not been the only headache for scientists. As we've discussed before, recent findings from the Webb telescope suggest that the universe might be expanding at different rates in different regions. This challenges the long-standing belief that cosmic expansion is the same everywhere in the universe and that it began after the Big Bang. Scientists are now questioning whether the expansion of space is truly real or just an illusion. But the debate doesn't stop there. They're also beginning to wonder, does the Big Bang really mark the beginning of our universe? Or could there be something beyond it? There's another twist in these findings. Scientists have discovered the first ever evidence of a primordial black hole. In a new study, an international team led by astrophysicist Ignis Juotsbalas from the University of Cambridge measured the mass of one of the mysterious little red dots detected by Webb. They discovered that this glowing object named QS01 is actually a black hole with a mass equal to 50 million suns. But they found something really odd in this black hole. The material surrounding this black hole is very small compared to the black hole's huge mass. This means that it was not formed in a normal way, such as by the collapse of stars. Instead, it seems to be a completely different kind of black hole. Scientists call these primordial black holes, which are thought to have formed in the very first moments after the Big Bang. If that's true, it could mean black holes existed first and galaxies later grew around them. But the big question remains, how did these primordial black holes form in the first place? The standard Big Bang model doesn't provide a clear answer. Nobel Prize winning researchers believe this could be the strongest evidence yet that another universe existed before ours. Roger Penrose, a famous physicist, once predicted that our universe might not be the first. He suggested that the universe works in cycles, where one universe slowly fades away and another is born. In his view, the radiation left behind by black holes in the old universe carries information forward, becoming part of the next one. In this picture, the Big Bang wasn't really the beginning of everything but just the start of our current cycle. 
Now, a new idea called Information Wells and the Emergence of Primordial Black Holes in a Cyclic Quantum Universe takes this even further. According to this research, the universe may not have started from a single, unique Big Bang. Instead, the universe expands, contracts, and then bounces back again, over and over. In this bounce, leftover information from the old universe doesn't just vanish. It leaves behind imprints called information wells. These imprints could seed the formation of primordial black holes, tiny but incredibly dense objects that appeared very early in cosmic history. If these black holes truly exist, they might be fossils of a universe that lived before ours. Webb has recently discovered possible evidence of primordial black holes in the early universe. These candidates are not like the giant black holes we see in galaxies today, but much smaller and older, dating back to the dawn of time. Their existence is puzzling, because according to the standard Big Bang picture, there shouldn't have been enough time for black holes to form so early. But if the cyclic models are correct, then these black holes could have been born out of the memory of a previous universe, carried through the cosmic bounce into ours. That means the primordial black holes seen by Webb might not just be random discoveries. They could be hints of something much bigger. The more we try to understand the universe, the more complex it seems to become. Could it be that something important is missing from our standard cosmological models? Or is our entire understanding of the universe and its beginning completely wrong? Did other universes exist before ours? Or is the universe eternal, with no true beginning or end? Whatever the case may be, the quest to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos is becoming more exciting than ever. Scientists are now exploring bold new ideas and theories that could bring us closer to understanding the true nature of the universe.